Gucci Bulletin Board has. How's it going, boys and girls? Here's a product that could be a godsend. I'm telling you, I use this thing, saved my life in Indiana. First, let's go over it. It's the HSS Bow and Gear Hoist Line. Now, you got about 30 feet. You can go up 30 feet or down 30 feet. That's plenty high. If you're going beyond 30 feet in a tree stand, God bless you. And it can hold up to 35 pounds. It's lightweight and easy to use. And basically, this is it. Small little device. You can clip it to your belt, clip it to put it in your pocket, clip it to your backpack, however you want to use this. And it's a great product. Now, Indiana, well, right around the third day, it was raining, and then it switched over to snow, and the temperature plummeted. Now, he had a horn line there, but it was like a thick rope, 13 millimeter, something like that, real thick, and that thing was frozen solid. Now, I picked this up around August if I was going to do some type of running gun or saddle hunting. This is great for your gear, you know, and uh, this thing in Indiana, that that rope was solid. I couldn't even tie a knot with it, So and uh, the carabiner out there, he had just where you can tie it. The carabiner, the, the rope was just useless at that point, so I used this. Great little product. Now, you see some reviews on people say the crank break because they're using it wrong. The way they use this is basically clip it on your bow. Simple little product. So let's clip this on. And as you go up, it pulls out. So you can, like I said, you can keep this on your pocket, keep it wherever you want. You clip it to your belt. And when you get to the top, here's where people are making a mistake is when you get to the top, you pull up with your hand. You don't crank it up with the crank. Now, it has a little crank right here that opens so it stays out of the way. So basically, what you do is, once you get to the top, you have all the slack, and you can just wind it up. So you don't use this to crank up the bow. Even though it says 35 pounds, and 35 pounds is holding weight, not for this crank. That's how it breaks. This crank will break. So that's the key to using this, really. It's simple, but... And when you want to go down, lower your bow, you simply hook it on and you just lower it. Let it low, control it a little, I control it a little bit with my hand, the descent, and when you get to the bottom, you unclip it and you crank it up again and take the slack out. Thing has it gotten tangled, it, it's really, really nice. So that's it, Richie, bullets and board heads. This is a great little product to have, again, if you're running gun, saddle, saddle hunting, or just if you need something in a pinch, because there's been a couple of mornings where I have, I keep a horn line by every one of my stands, and sometimes, I try to tie them off, but sometimes they blow away or whatever, and uh, I can't find it in the dark in the morning, it wraps around this. I just use this. I'm not going to spend all this time in the dark. And then at the end of my hunt, I'll unwind it and, you know, put it, put it to where it should be. But this thing's a great little product. HSS bow and gear hoist line, inexpensive. Keep it in your pack, because even if you use it one or two year, uh, times a year, you'll thank me. So that's it, Richie, Bulletin Broad Edge, HSS is known for their safety harnesses and everything else. They have some great other products. So that's it, Richie, Bulletin Broad Edge, quick little video on this great, great product. I really, really love it, and I'm so glad I got it. Bulletin Broad Edge, over and out.